श्री एन के प्रेमचंदन आप नोटिस और आप नियम के तहत ही बोलते हो या या माय नोटिस इस दिन सर नहीं आप रूल्स रूल्स के तहत ही बोलते हो या सर फर्स्ट ऑफ़ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्रेस ओवर सिंसियर थैंक्स टू द ऑनरेबल स्पीकर दिस इज़ द फर्स्ट टाइम ड्यूरिंग द लास्ट माय एक्सपीरियंस व्हेन ए बिल इस इन अपोस्ड � and the first time you have allowed for such a discussion, we are thankful to you. Sir, that is 72 second proviso, rule 72, two second, 72 one second proviso. Sir, I vehemently, very strongly oppose this work of amendment bill 2024 under rule 72, two of the rules of procedure. Four reasons I am suggesting. Number one is the provisions of the bill violates fundamental rights envisaged in article 25 to 28 of the Constitution. It violates Article 13.2 of the Constitution. And the third one is the bill is against the basic future of secularism enshrined in our Constitution that cannot be altered because it is the basic futures of the Constitution that cannot be altered or changed. And the last one is the statement and objects and reasons narrated in the statement of objects and reasons are not sufficient to bring a new legislation. These are the grounds by which I am opposing the introduction of this bill. Sir, the sole intention of the Wakaf is for the better administration of Wakaf properties. Wakaf is a permanent dedication by any person or any move of any movable property or immovable property for any purpose of a recognized by the Muslim law. And it is considered as a pious, religious and charitable activity. It is absolutely a religious activity come within the purview of Article 26 of the Constitution. This is government is intruding into the religious freedom of a particular community that to Muslim. And you are particularly targeting the community Muslim, sir. That is the real case by Mr. Sir. So, sir, coming to see, if you go through the legislation, it is very interesting if you go through the legislation, you are disempowering the Wakaf board as well as the council and to determine whether a property is a Wakaf property or not, it is being declared by the collector or the government. And oh, one second, one or two seconds. And you are removing section 104, removing section 40 means there is no need of a Wakaf board. The Wakaf board become totally powerless. That means you are, you are, you are dismantling the system. So, so totally it is a dismantle of the system. So, sir, it is absolutely against the principles of constitution and also it is lacking bona fides also. And further, I would like to quote Article 13.2 of the constitution. Kindly see Article 13.2 of the constitution. That is part three, very specific. That is the laws in consistence with the derogation of the fundamental rights. Sir, Article 13, clause two, I quote, the state shall not make any law which takes away or abridges the rights conferred by this part, and any law made in connection of this clause shall not to the extent of the contravention be void. So, sir, I caution this house, I caution the government that if law is, you can very well pass. You are having absolute majority in the house. But I would caution this government, if it go for a judicial scrutiny, definitely this bill will be struck down on the constitutional grounds. It is outside the legislative competence of this house. I am very sure that is why we are strongly opposing. And finally, sir, it is nothing but, as rightly Sri K. S. Venugopal has said, the reason that coming assembly elections in the state of Maharashtra in particular and other states, we want I am saying, that is a political, I am saying, I will, I will, I will, I will reply, Piyush Goyalji, I am, I am saying that this is the, the reasons and objects, states and the objects of reasons, it is, it is, it is, it is, it is lacking, it is lacking bona fides, it is lacking bona fides, that is my case, so sir, so, sir, so it is, so, 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 so sir, and a very, very important thing is, we have person 
who had been practicing okay. for the last five years as Muslim can only donate the property, yeah, yeah. And, but the non-Muslims can participate in the administration. This total contradiction, total against equality before law and equal protection of the law. Hence, I appeal to the government, please withdraw the bill, or if you want to insist on this bill, kindly send to some committee for close scrutiny of the bill and let us discuss and discuss with the stakeholders. Then only it will be it will be taken into consideration. So I strongly oppose the introduction of the bill. Thank you very much.